Hi, Handy here. Welcome to Anna's Tutorials and this one is tutorial for ZB Workflow Engine for Microservices Orchestration. So previously I've created a workflow. This is order process tutorial dot BPMN file using ZB modular. And the next step here in the tutorial after creating workflow is that we can then deploy that workflow okay so um, let's see uh, okay so we can use uh, manually configure and start ZB and operate so actually there are several components here so previously I only installed ZB modular but now we need to have ZB broker and then come in the operate. This is actually optional. I've tried before that you can do it fully console based without coming in the operate and it will take less resources and you don't need Elasticsearch. But if you want to have a nice web UI, uh, then we will need come in the operate and Elasticsearch. But uh, please note that Upgrade is only available for free for non-production use. Okay. So uh, this time I will use the Docker Compose. So let's see. Actually, what we have to do is simply using uh, git clone on this repository right so let's clone this oops to the git clone and then i will put it here it will take some time to clone takes quite some time to clone okay so git clone is successful I want to add this folder to the workspace and then I should be able to start the containers uh, in the foreground okay I will create a new terminal and uh, this should be the docker compose it has ZB and there is upgrade and then there is elastic search so there are and also there is Kibana. Okay, so there are uh, four containers here, and there is also a profile with only ZB, monitor, operate, Elasticsearch, and Kibana. All there. there are five containers with simple monitor as well. Okay, so I will use the operate profile. So I'll go to terminal and uh, let me check if i have any containers running okay and then i will do docker compose up no okay go to operate first and docker compose up this will download several files okay this will take some time Okay, that took a lot of time uh, for me to download in my network, but after that, the containers seem to be running. Okay, there should be ZB, Operate, Elasticsearch, and Kibana. Okay. 
I have some experience with elastic swords and gibbana. Okay. There's still a bit of error. In this case, I think uh, it's purely using plain HTTP, no TLS yet, which is understandable. Okay. So this. I think this should be running now. Okay. So let's see what I what I can do here. Okay, let's go back to the tutorial. So now uh, deploy a workflow. Okay. Go to localhost 8080. Let's see. Okay, this is operate. So, what is the username password? Maybe later. And okay, so let me check the status of the broker now. Okay, do I have a pin here? Okay. Pin secure status. Okay. I have a ZB cluster running. And this is working as intended. And for all ZB related operations moving forward, we'll be using the ZB command line interface. In real-world deployment, you likely would not rely on CLI to send messages or create job workers. Rather, you would embed CB clients in worker microservices that connect to the ZB engine. Okay, but for the sake of keeping this guide simple and language agnostic, we're going to use the CLI. Next, we'll deploy our workflow model via the CLI. And the workflow model we created in the previous section, and this is what we mean by the workflow model previously created and that's the XML one and this is the workflow model that will be deployed to the ZB cluster okay so let's go here and okay so we can deploy our workflow model let's see go to this one and then I should be able to pin insecure deploy CD tutorial order process okay okay it is deployed okay and then I should see a response like this then go to the operate user interface and use the credentials demo demo okay let's use this nice okay so let's see that now we have zero running instances okay yeah we don't have any instances yet uh, so let's see and running instances okay not yet and workflow okay so you can see here that actually we have a workflow and it's displayed here the workflow it's very nice and you should see the workflow model we just deployed okay and okay so that's how you deploy a workflow to zb and you can see that zb is running we can log in to operate and on the next tutorial and next part we will find out how to run a workflow instance this workflow instance okay from 
order placed to initiate payment and can we do this until order fulfilled okay see you on the next part thank you very much